G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, I forgot in yesterday's video to do a tent walkthrough, show you my crib. Um, so we'll do that in the intro, and then this video is actually going to be tomorrow, but the intro is going to show the Weber getting cranked up, and then it's going to show the inside of that house. It's not a house, is it? Anyway, let's flip the camera around. Being an intro, we need to do this in one, one cut, so... I've got these cool knife, fork and spoon and they like fold into each other. I kind of forgot how much cool camping gear we've got. Uh, we went on a bit of a spending spree probably like four or five years ago. You reckon four or five years ago? Maybe longer. Um, so I've got a snake set up. If you haven't seen it, it's basically like three cubes wide and, a, and snaked around the outside. These things are 20 bucks. Um, Last time we went camping, I did a rack of lamb. This time we're only doing lamb chops. But, um, it should be just as good. I might stack them sort of like on each other, not separated. I don't know. I'll make that decision in like 35 seconds. Alright, so this thing goes on here. As you can see, I've only, I've hardly used this thing. Um, it's only for camping, obviously you guys know I've got the smoker at home. I don't want to admit it, but the lamb, the lamb I had in this thing, probably as good if not better than some of the smoked meat I've done. Probably better actually, but we won't admit that to anyone. Um, but yeah, you just pretty much chuck these in and obviously I'm gonna stack them up a bit, two hands. Um, I generally try to keep the meat away from the snake. So like in a couple of hours when the snake comes around, I'll move the meat on the opposite side, you know, and then makes for a darty dinner. And you can go riding and you don't have to worry about the meat. Last time it was like picture perfect. We literally went riding for the day, came back and it was just like the best thing I've ever put in my mouth. I put a few things in my mouth. Anyway, let's get stuck into the intro. And oh no, we've got to walk through. We've got to walk through, guys. Oh, that can wait. Make sure no bugs get my chops. All right, so it's a dark tent, which means we're not going to be able to see shit. I've got a torch here, actually. All right, so that room there is just empty. Um, that's going to be Cooper's room in like 20 years. We've got the lights here. Probably not 20 years actually, probably like five, maybe even three. Um, so, clothes and shit, change table. Wouldn't be, wouldn't mind getting a camping change table if it's a thing. I uh, probably don't need it. Um, so Cooper's <coughs> little, um, that's actually a cot, it's not a playpen, but we're using it for both. That thing there will come in and sit here. We're gonna keep this door open just for that peace of mind keep the child close you know um that's our bed um wouldn't put a baby in an air mattress apparently real bad the good thing about cooper is he's not dependent on being in our bed um it's like probably one of the things i'm most proud of about how being a first parent and not co-sleeping i think pretty proud of that are you proud of that yeah i think the fact well the fact we did co-sleep one night and um, I just didn't talk to Ange for like 24 hours and I think it kind of put her off go sleeping. Um, I'm a hard ass, I know. The bed's not flat so I, we put it that way. <laughs> so <laughs> I figured <coughs> head down, probably laying it tonight, figure if we want to change it around the other way. Um, this spot here, there's just nowhere flat. Um, but I think going uphill is better than going downhill. Um, there is a flatter spot on the other side of that tree, but it's got two big ant mounds on it, so can't park there. But anyway, that's that's uh, the tour. I've got the marquee, see, sitting on the back of the trailer there, but it's the weather's just that good. I, it's not <coughs> not necessary for this camping trip. Um, if it was raining, I'd bring it out. Um, I kind of want to figure out how I can connect that to the marquee bit of tarp or something so that way if it rains like we've got really good cover 
Now we're going to get stuck into the intro. Morning guys, <laughs> I told you we were going to vlog breakfast and that, I kind of forgot. Um, Cooper had a bit of a rough night sleeping and obviously today's Mother's Day so I got up, it was kind of before the sun came up, it was like 6 o'clock and um, I lit the fire and hung out with Cooper and he just stared at the fire for like almost two hours, he was stoked and then I started making breakfast, I was trying to do mum. Where is she? I was trying to make mum breakfast in bed, but she got up before I finished it. Um, but that's all right, she still got breakfast as she got out of bed. Um, yeah, that's hot. I'm just making some coffee. Um, this is, we didn't have a teapot last time we came camping. I'm pretty sure I just bought like four iced coffees with me last time. But, obviously I don't really drink a whole lot of iced coffee anymore. That's pretty hot. Um, how are we gonna pour this? Do you I got a motorbike glove. We're set. Oh no. Copyright for music. Shit. Hopefully you guys couldn't hear that. Alright. This is art. Holding the camera on the right. Oh, you guys are going to steam up. Oops, that's a bit full. Should be right. You guys are steaming. Alright, so let's talk about camping products that are absolute necessity. Um, this teapot, the sickest thing in the world. One thing I didn't mention in yesterday's video, this stand here that I put the hot plate on, that's an old four by one <laughs> aquarium stand that I cut in half and that's on its side. Um, that's quite cool. See, this video is fish related. Um, all right, so what was I saying? Best camping products. All right, that teapot's like six bucks. Sickest thing I bought. This Kinder Cot, absolutely awesome. Um, I think this would even be wicked to take to holiday homes and shit. Like, screw the porta cot. This thing is mint and it's like instant pop up. And you can use it as a playpen. And you can hear he loves it. Um, we're talking about products that are awesome for camping. This shit. This shit is the bomb. Six o'clock this morning, half asleep. Squirt. I probably squirt like. What's this one liter? <laughs> I probably squirt like 100 mils on it. Pro no, not even 50 mils. So you get like 20, 25 out of that bottle. Um, what's your favorite camping product? The Weber, the Weber's sick. Um, these are only like 20 bucks. I got sausages in there for lunch. So the good thing about this, right, is we're gonna have lunch and then we're gonna dash. So um, if I cook on the fire with the hot plate for lunch, we can't dash after lunch. We're gonna wait for that plate to cool down. So by using the Weber, obviously the Weber will still be hot, but the Weber's a lot thinner metal. This thing here, oh, it's not too bad. It's been off for half an hour. Um, but yeah, I, I don't want that fire even embering when we leave. So I'm gonna get the rake out and rake that, out, just rake the coal separate sort of thing. Um, The tent obviously is awesome, but that's not really a cheap product, so I really enjoy camping. Next time, uh, the only complaint that I have about what we have with us, next time, I prefer better spatula. It wasn't a big deal, just the eggs, I couldn't get them off the plate. Um, <coughs> it did make do. Uh, the other thing is, I didn't really have anything to clean the barbie plate, but it sat on there for that long and heated up for that long. It's not like it's going to have germs on it. It's just got like the fire crud on it. I actually broke off some of this bag and like wiped all the ash off the top of it before I cooked. All right, guys, I'm packing up. It's um 
still like two hours before we plan on leaving. I'm, at, I'm actually shattered. I've done about 80 k's on my bike. I, on, to be completely honest, I wasn't riding full pace, obviously. Um, I'm not going to go to town when I'm not with anyone. Um, I rode a lot of the tracks two or three times, just looping close to camp. I think the furthest I got from camp was probably like 10 k's. Um, the new GPS is wicked. Uh, but anyway, I'm thinking about, there's a reason I've started filming right now. <clears throat> I'm thinking about ditching the air mattress and getting a swag. The air mattress did a good job. It holds air. It deflated a tiny bit, maybe like 10%. But it's, it's like not enough that I wasn't going to get sleep, you know. Um... But yeah, I'm thinking about going a swag. I've never owned a swag, so hopefully some of you guys can comment on that. Uh, I know there's a few comments on yesterday's video talking about camping. I think, um, from what I can gather, there was a couple of recommendations, but I can't open the comments. I've been getting the notifications so I can read like the first few lines, but then um, after that, nothing. Ah, uh, so, yeah, this mattress is all right, but I've got a feeling a swag would be comfort more comfortable. I know swags can get super expensive, but I don't know. We've spent that much on the tent now. I feel like we might as well go all out. Um, bike's already on the trailer. <coughs> I ended up going demolition with the car and ran over that big tree. Um, apparently my car's in reverse. I think that's down. No. I don't know if it's doing anything. Might just have to do it the old fashioned way. Yeah, there's no more air coming out of that. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Am I stupid for thinking that a swag would be better? Like I said, I've never owned a swag. Oh, ain't no anything here. It's a little bit cross country to get to the car. Um, one thing, I, I don't know if I told you in the last video, but I stuffed up, I put the tent in the car and I put it at the back behind all the bedding and everything. So I had to get the bedding out to get the tent out. So I really hope that next camping trip I remember my mistake and pack it the right way around. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this off camera. Getting shit in boxes sucks. And just like that guys, we're all packed away. The only evidence of us being here is that pile of charcoal, um, which is no no big deal, I don't think. Uh, I wish, I one thing I forgot was a shovel. Uh, what I've done previously is dug a hole and buried the charcoal, but we're not doing that today, obviously. Um, literally, no sign at all of us being here can't even tell where the tent was. So, <laughs> funny thing, see this hole here in the ground? That's right at the door of where the tent was and I rolled my ankle a couple of times. But anyway, um, plenty of firewood for next time we come here. 100% coming back to this spot ASAP. The riding was insane. You guys will see that on uh, Tuesday. Um, so obviously tomorrow is the members video, but um, on that note guys, I think I'm gonna wrap it up there. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna subscribe for more, hit that little red button. And I'll see you guys Tuesday, members tomorrow. Peace out.